Hi everyone, welcome to Automate with UiPath. So today in this tutorial, you are going to know about tip number two about error handling in UiPath. Error number two, what happens when you have timings and synchronization issues? It may happen sometimes that you are dependent on some other application to perform some task and that application may take time to load. In such situations, if you do not mention the time to wait when UiPath assumes that the application is not working or opening and throws an exception. So in such situations, what will be the solution? Let's see that. To handle such errors, mention the time to wait in the timeout MS parameter. By default, the value would be 30 seconds. Apart from that, if you want to handle synchronization issues, then you have the following three options. The number one, element exists activity. This activity returns true or false based on the extents of a specific element. So you can use this if you want to make sure whether an element is present or not. Number two, find element activity. This activity will stop the automation until an element is found. Number three, wait element vanish activity. This activity waits for an element to disappear before continuing. But this is all of the older version. In the newer version of UiPath, you have check app state instead of about three activities. Simple. This is the tip number two in error handling in UiPath. For more updates and for more tips, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.